It's the NFL on EA. Greg Zerline now. He'll handle the honors to get us started. And off we go from Seattle. Taking in at the three. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And leading him out, the former Jet, playing against his ex-team, the 39th overall pick in 2013, drafted by those Jets, Geno Smith. Didn't exactly cover himself in glory during his time with the Jets, 11-18 and 18 as a starter. Almost wonder if not going in the first round and having to come back that second day of the draft mm -hmm. was a precursor about what was going to happen with him with the Jets. Plenty of talent, great mind, a football gym rat, but it it's never like came all together while he was in New York. And now he's on the other side. Here's Walker to start the drive. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Throwing is Smith. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing now is Geno. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Now Geno. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. This is going to be the matchup to watch out on the perimeter, and it won't be the last time these two go at it. Both of them believe they are the superior. In this case, the win goes to the defense. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Geno out a throw. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And you'd think on third down, they'd just be looking for something right beyond the sticks. And I think they caught the defense flat-footed as a result because they decided they were going to take a shot right there, and it ended up being a big play. And that one covering an even 63 yards in the air. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it's DK Metcalf who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. the touchdown here's Myers to boot it away pulls it in at the 13 
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. Bringing him out is the future Hall of Famer, now in his 18th NFL season, Aaron Rodgers. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks, can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Rodgers to throw. Wilson's got it complete. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Seven yards there and a first down. They'll run for the first time with Brees Hall. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Now Rodgers on the bootleg, on the move to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play. They forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And check down complete to Hall. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Taking in left side, it's Wilson. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And again, it's Rodgers. He completes it to Wilson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be 
finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he is going to have a Jets first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Well, they're not hiding who their central focus is on offense. Charles, he already now has four receptions here on this opening drive. And I know people who are watching the game are thinking, did they forget about him in the defensive game plan? But it's actually been the opposite. They're giving him a lot of attention, but he's been very creative and savvy in his route running and finding seams and openings in order to create these completions. Rodgers now on first down. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Over the middle complete. That's Hall. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, a run with Hall. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it, but I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. They'll go for it. It's Hall. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall taking it in from a yard out. And the Jets' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So a big call there on their opening drive. They go for it on fourth and goal. It pays off. And I think, Brandon, they were feeling they needed to match that touchdown on the other end. They didn't want to give them an advantage by kicking a field goal and being down here at the outset. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Holding the receiving team. 
do that. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. When the holding penalty sets them back inside the 20 as they get going on this drive. Now Gino on first down. Throw out wide to Walker. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's Smith. Walker with a grab, left side. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. And that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying it is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try to pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. Throwing on third down, Smith. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Walker now on first and 10. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Only needing two yards on second down. Back to throw, Smith. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Smith. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. What will look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. 
Now back to throw. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 24-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards, and the sticks move. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Again, Smith. He'll find Eskridge here complete. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Gino. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Smith throwing again. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Gino now to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Myers' kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. to seven. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. now converted on the field goal try now he's on to kick it away this one fielded at the five. Oh, now how about this return he's to midfield he's at the 30 10 and he will score touchdown Jets I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. 
A fairly short kick from the 14. And the Seahawks offense going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Now it's Smith. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Throwing now is Geno. Toward the sideline, and that is a nice catch as he's able to tiptoe his way out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. A shotgun snap for Smith. Left side here, taken in by Metcalf. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Let's go, let's go. Let's be perfect. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. He's got the leg, but it's no good. He missed it right, and that will keep this a four-point game. Yeah, it's been a disappointing first half for him, all things considered, and this can serve as the capper. It's a missed field goal in the late going, and that's only going to serve to lessen the mood even further. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. A final shot before half for Rodgers. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game as we send you cross-country to... We now proceed to the start of the second half. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Now Rodgers. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. 
I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's Rodgers. Catch is made by Hardman. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first and ten, it's Hall. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now Rodgers. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll run with Hall. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. On play action, now Rodgers. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. On third down, here's Hull. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Fourth down now after a loss of two. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This from 54 yards away. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this will stay a four-point game. So it's an empty possession and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon. So apparently... Neither guy is immune. Get a look at DK Metcalf as this offense returns to the field. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes 
That means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And incomplete on the deep ball. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Throwing is Smith. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now Gino on first down. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now we sit in quarter number three out in Seattle, a second and 10 now. On second down, it's Walker. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Now Smith. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Jets will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. He gets it underneath to Hall, and he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Time, 
Handoff, running left. Here's Hall, and he'll work down inside the 45. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. On play action, Rodgers eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Here's Rodgers to throw. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead is Hall. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Throwing now is Rodgers. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Rodgers now to throw. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Nicole Hardman, a touchdown on a kick return, and now one through the air. And the Jets get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's just how they do it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. That time, a nine-play drive, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown.
Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From the six. And able to get this out to the 25. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. to begin the drive. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? The last run got six, now second and four. Sticking with Walker on second down. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. This offense so far on third down, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and three. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. Desperation time for Smith on fourth down. He hits his target, lock it. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. That's exactly what they got done. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Now Gino. Throw out wide to Walker. And he'll be brought down at the 27. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. On first down, Smith. Finding Lockett for the catch here on the out route. And out of bounds right around the 20. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. the middle they run it's Walker a gain of five good enough for the first down Brandon I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football you run to set up the pass but I think we've discovered in this NFL a lot of teams pass to set up the run and that's what they've done throughout this game they've aired it out thrown it around the yard now they've come back to the running game and they find a way to be successful with it so it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. 
That one thrown away from the pocket. And the officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Touchdown, Seahawks! DK Metcalf with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Now the Jets offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Hall to start the drive. Takes it to about the 37. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Ball again on second down. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Here's Hall again, and he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three, it leaves him with fourth and one. Here's Thomas Morstead now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So all eyes on this Seahawks offense. Down 21-16, a little over 80 ticks to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Smith. 
This one goes underneath to Walker. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. Smith trying to get him to the line quickly with the clock rolling. Back to throw. Repeat of the last play, finding Walker. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a gain of 12, first down Seahawks. This is where hustle and urgency come into play. I think you've got to get up there and spike it. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now it's Smith. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Walker. And they'll get him down after a gain of seven, but they'll happily give him that. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big gain. One last throw here for Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fant. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.